Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So I'm over here at the Daily Mail and I come across this article here. It says radioactive particles are detected across Europe and scientists have no idea where they came from. It says German officials raised the alarm after a number of detections since September 29th. Um, the source is believed to originate 620 miles east of Germany. Experts say that the levels present in the air do not pose a health threat. They also believe an accident at a nuclear power plant cannot be responsible. But here's the thing. First of all, if there's radiation in the air that's, you know, that's been going on since September 29th, maybe that little bit of radiation in itself might not be harmful. But what about long-term exposure to low levels of radiation? I'm, you know what I mean? I'm no expert, so I'm, I'm actually asking. Because to me, to me, I'm just like, any kind of radiation cannot be good radiation, right? I mean, for the, for the human body. I'm just, especially long-term exposure. It's been going on for over a week now. Um... And it goes on to say, German officials say that the spike in radioactivity has been detected in the air in Western and Central Europe. Elevated levels of isotope uh, ruthenium-106 have been reported in Germany, Italy, Austria, Switzerland, Fran and France since September 29th. The source of the, of the uh, ruthenium-106 is still unknown, but calculations indicate it may have been released in Europe. In Eastern Europe, sorry. Now, here's... Here's like the video. They're thinking it come from anywhere around here, apparently. Um, but you know, it's been detected in Italy. It's been, you know, what I mean. It's traveling all the way across the entire, you know, Europe. Like, so I don't know. To me, it says new analysis on the source of the radioact radioactive substance, ruthenium 106, suggests a release in Eastern Europe at a distance of more than one, uh, 620 miles from Germany. Also goes on to say experts from the Germany's Federal Office for Radiation Protection raised the alarm yesterday after five weather service stations detected traces of the particle. This follows a monitor air monitoring stations across the continent recording an increase in the isotope. The levels detected are low, 17,000 17, times lower than the limits set for this particle, and they do not pose a threat to human health as of yet. You notice they throw yet in there, because my thinking is, if this has been going on since September 29th, it's been, over, it's been a week, it's still going on, they have no clue where it's coming from, so to me, even at these low levels, what if you know the long-term exposure cannot be good I mean I'm just I don't know like I said again I'm not an expert but at the same time it just it blows my mind like they're not I don't know it's like they're not worried about it but if it's been going on for over a week they don't know where it's truly coming from so I mean it's it's hard to tell what if it keeps going on what you know what I mean what if this is being intentionally released you know I don't want to try you know, be like a conspiracy theorist or anything like that, but I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to share the story because maybe someone, one of you guys, maybe will know because obviously I'm not an expert in it. I want you know, but even at such a low level, if you're exposed to it long term, I, I would still think it would be harmful. And it, and who knows if the levels are going to increase because they don't even know where this is coming from. So you know, I don't know. I'm just going to leave it there, but, like, this, you know, I I don't know, you know, my little brother actually just flew to London two days ago, so I don't know if it'll actually reach that far, um, but if it's already, if it's reaching Italy and parts of France, you know, you know, my little brother's going to be in London, then I believe he's going to, where is Ireland for a few days as well, he's, he's going to be over there for nine days total, and he's going to be uh, moving all around, so, I mean, I don't know. Hopefully this stuff isn't harmful. That's for sure. But, um, again, I appreciate every single one of you for watching these videos and supporting the channel. Hopefully, you know, we can continue to grow. And um, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Turn on the bell notifications as well if you'd like to get my videos um, every day when they're uploaded. And uh, 
again, I'll just leave it there, but, you know, it just kind of blows my mind here. They have no clue where this radiation is coming from. They say it's not harmful, but I, I don't know. I would just worry about long-term exposure, and it's, you know, what if it keeps going? You know what I mean? What if it keeps being released? What if it increases? So, again, it's just mind-boggling that they don't even know where this is coming from. And, I'm you know, hopefully it's not intentional, you know, but it, even if it's not intentional, then something's going on, right? Like, um, but... Uh, but I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.